welcome back to the third part of um, a three-part series I've been doing on making to colour pencil project and and this week it's uh, to show you how we or how I finish a coloured pencil uh, project um, I even tried a couple of new things this time um, with the finish uh, I used a super glue finish or CA as you you say in the States a CA glue finish um, and then I finished it with a, a natural beeswax polish so and I'm really happy with the way that it's come out now um, this week's video of uh, repairing any chips that have happened because you do lose lead in these pencil projects and you do get some of the wood breaks away or you have gaps where the pencils haven't quite glued together. Um, it, it all happens with colour pencils because there's no one pencil the same size as the next. They're just they're just knocked out in a factory and then they're, they're not exact. So because you get gaps, I'm going to show you how to fill those gaps but still keep the character of the piece and not lose any of the colour. So stick with me. We're going to go through the process. And at the end, I'll show you the finished product. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. So uh, let's finish this goblet. Okay, so we've got our piece of uh, pencil missing here. It's just chipped out when we've, uh, when we've turned it. You can just see there. So all we're going to do is we're going to get another piece of pencil like this. And we're just going to stick it in there. That piece is better. Most of the time when you look around the floor after you've done this you'll find pieces that have flown out. Um, that's what these are. They're just bits I've picked up when I've cleaned up the shop and uh, you can stick them back in. So you just get your super glue. And you put your glue in. And you get your piece of pencil and you just whack it in the hole. And you hold it there till it goes dry. Small bit of pressure. And that's that, that's held in there now. And again, we just put the glue in. And then all we do is we just turn them away. Um, like this. Going by the shadow at the back of the piece, you're just following down and just taking away that excess pencil. You can see the shadow just at the back, so that you're not cutting into uh, into the main piece of the that you've already done. And then what you want to do is you want to you want to come in here this way then just bring it down you don't want to bring it all the way down because we're just going to sand the last piece away and you're just taking the last bit out there Okay, so as you can see, I just blew the side of my bead off. But that's what I like about pencils. You can find the piece, if you're lucky, like I have. And you can just put it back in. Hmm. 
no panic. And then we'll turn again. There we have it. I think we've uh, we're down to where we want to be. And there's our piece that we stuck in. And just here. And we'll be able to sand that back down now to uh, where we want it when we start sanding. And that's pretty much how you fill in the big gaps. Now I'm going to go along with the rest of uh, the rest of it. There's only a couple of little bits and pieces that are missing here. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to fill in the big pieces and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to fill in where the lead has come out. There's two ways we can do that and I'll uh, I'll go through that with you in a minute. Once. Okay, so, and so I've done all the big parts. I've um, refilled all the the big piece of pencils that chipped out and um, and I've turned them back down. So now all I've got to do now is um, I've got to fill in where these bits of lead are missing. Now there's two ways of doing that. Um, these bigger pieces, you can take a piece of lead, quite simply, from a piece of pencil, like this. By just flipping it out, hopefully, like this. Okay, get roughly the length you need. A little bit of glue. And drop the lead in. Let that dry. And then you just um, you get your knife and you peel it back just peel it back with your knife surprising how tough this lead is it's actually clay based that's why it doesn't bleed as much as the um, as much as the, the gray pencils because obviously the grey pencils are graphite which powders really easily into a real fine dust and then gets in to the grain of the wood a lot of people have tried the graphite pencils and they're not all that easy now there you go, and that's filled that that's ready for sanding now now I'm going to go ahead and do all these fill all these little where the leads are missing and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you a little trick on filling the gaps where the pencils haven't quite stuck together like this one. And it's kind of a neat little trick that I've come up with. Um, and we'll do that in a second when I've, uh, when I've done all the lead gaps. I'll chat to you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. <clears throat> Didn't take long at all. I've just filled in anywhere there was, uh, there was leads missing and I've scraped them down ready for sanding okay now there's no sanding done yet on any of this okay um, now the stage we're at now is that as you can see we have gaps here just where the pencils haven't sat in properly every turner's nightmare is to have these gaps this is where I uh, I filled it with some sawdust when I was putting the blank together and it hasn't quite gone in. But like I said when I started this project I'm not worried about things like that because I've come up with a plan of filling these gaps that works quite well. <clears throat> uh, when I was <clears throat> originally doing the first one of these and I got this problem I thought ah oh, no what am I going to fill those with? I could fill it with wood glue and sawdust but then you're going to have these different variations of wood colour and it would just look rubbish to be honest with you. And I was thinking well it's colourful so what could I use that's colourful and I was thinking I'd look through and I'd 
tried finding some different colours of fillers and things like that. And then I had a thought that, well, hold on a second. What has the same colours as these that's near enough the same sort of material, maybe a little bit softer, that can be sanded, that doesn't bleed, and that can take a finish? And I came up with these. Yep. Wax crayons. Kids wax crayons, that's all they are. And uh, what does wax do? It melts. And it can be sanded. And it can be covered with most finishes. And it doesn't make any kind of difference. So, what I do is, I'll quite simply demonstrate is, I won't use that colour there, I will use Use a nice red. Okay, so peel the paper back, otherwise you just end up with a a burning ball of fire in your fingers. And what I do is I have this small butane um, blowtorch. Let me just I'll pan you out a little bit just so you can see this. Oh, wrong way. Okay. So it's just a, a little blo uh, butane, this is just a cheap one I think I got. Um, just It just charges with um, lighter fuel. And uh, it's really handy for scorching pieces and stuff, you know, it's nice, you can hold it like a pen. And uh, I'd recommend anyone to get one of these, They're, they are very handy. So I'll bring you back up close to the piece of work again, just... Ooh, sorry, we're going a bit blurred. Just there. Okay, and I shall demonstrate. I'll just light up the torch. And all we do is we just melt this. Now what you've got to do is you've got to keep a puddle of, uh, of wax going. So you've got to keep adding as you go, okay? So you warm up your crayon and you drop it in and you drop it in and you drop it in so that the, the work piece is still fluid when you're joining into it. Okay? It doesn't matter how rough it looks because just like the lead before, you're just going to scrape that back so it's flush. Okay? Um, I'll keep going with the... Will I go for... No, I'll go with another colour now. Uh, we'll go with yellow. Now yellow tends to kind of... I don't know whether it's made of different stuff, but it goes can go black sometimes. We'll see with this one. Drop it. Oh, this one's not too bad. Drop it in. Drop it in. Looks ugly, right? Well, like I say, when you scrape it back, it'll just look like it's part of the pencil. Okay, uh, we get blue here. Drop it in. Drop it in. It's kind of like welding. Now, don't get your torch too close to the work because you'll scorch it like I've done before in the past. It looked nicer. Okay, so you just keep adding this in. And then what I'll do, just I'll turn that off. And I'll just show you how we uh, clean it up. And like I say, it's just like the lead before. You just work away, take away the wax away from where you don't want it. And the good thing is, if it's not filled in enough, you can add a bit more. Just scrape it back. Don't know why they don't use wax for fillers. And again, we'll go with the yellow. So you just run your knife over the top. And we just scrape it away until it's nice and flush. And then we move on to the next one. Okay, so as you can see, I filled most of the gaps now. 
and I'm going to start sanding. Now I've just I've just run sandpaper over this just so you can see the difference. Um, I just went with a 240 grit here on this one just quickly. Now the trick with sanding these pencils is you do it on a high speed, sand on a high speed and light, very light touches. You almost just uh, you almost just touch the sandpaper and brush it backwards and forwards as you go. Um, I just want to try and see can I get that to focus a bit better for you. Um, so yeah, I've sanded this to 240 and this is still rough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the grits now. I'm going to sand this piece up all the way through and in the gaps. Sand it up um, and then come back to you. If it still needs a little bit of filling then we will. Um, but I don't think it's going to need that much more filling. I've pretty much got all of the the gaps now I think. I think I've decided that I'm going to finish this one because I've not finished a pencil goblet before with CA glue or super glue. I'm going to try doing it with super glue this one and see how it comes out. Okay there we are. We're all um, it all sanded up to 1200. Um, yeah, it's not finished up too bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some coats of super glue or CA glue onto this and uh, and see how it looks. Yeah, well that's not so bad. That's just uh that's kind of one coat, two coats maybe I'll I put onto that and uh I'm gonna uh I'm gonna sand that again to bring it up again and then uh give it another couple of coats and uh I'll come back to you when uh when it's all done. I'll just put the white board in there just so you can see what it focus in on that for you. It's not a bad finish. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna throw a few more coats on and sand it up and uh I'll show you the finished product once I've parted it off and uh yeah, then we're done. Back in a bit. And that is that. Um, yeah, it was fun. I had a lot of fun making this piece. Um, as you can see, the finished article, uh, captive ring. I'm really happy with the, with the finish, the super glue finish. Uh, like I said on the video, four coats of, um, super glue, uh, CA, and then I did, uh, in the end I did two coats of the natural beeswax polish, uh, polished it in, let it dry for a bit and then uh, buffed it out at high speed. Um, yeah it's come out really well, that's the bottom, that's the inside and the colour crayon has really filled out these gaps nicely, uh, there's no real, it's all pretty smooth. smooth. Um, See a little bit of uh, tissue paper there. Oh no, it's not, it's wax. Um, yeah, very happy with the end result. 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, project. I hope that you go out and give it a go because they are a lot of fun and the end result is amazing really. You know, I'll put a few pictures up at the end to, to, to get you a, a good close up picture. Um, just before I go, there's a, a couple of th people I'd like to mention. Um, Carl Jacobson, a legend in the wood turning world over in America. Um, he uh, mentioned me, he showed the unfinished version of this goblet. I sent him a few pictures and he, uh, and he mentioned, my, uh, mentioned my new channel on his show there. Thank you very much, Carl. I really appreciate that. Uh, the, the next person is Martin Saban Smith. Uh, very nice guy. Again, uh, his last video, or the video before the last, he uh, he mentioned my channel as well. Uh, getting a lot of support from other wood turners. It's just fantastic to get such uh, such respect from these guys that have been going for a long time. Um, now, Martin has just. Uh, gone out on a new venture. Uh, he, he makes his own finish. It's called Hampshire Sheen. Uh, check it out. I've just ordered um, a tub of the, the finish off of him and I, I hopefully, once I get it and I've learned to use it properly, I'll probably do a review on it for Martin just to, to let you guys know what it's like to use. Um, he's just finished an advert, I believe, for the company. He set up a website which is called www.hampshiresheen.com. Go on over there and uh, look through his products. I think um, it's, it's a great um, website. And he, is, he has a promotional code at the moment, which is YTHS10. And if you put that on at the end of your order, you'll get a 10% uh, discount off of the price of the sheen which is very reasonably priced to be honest with you it's a, a good old English product uh, made in Hampshire where Martin lives and uh, yeah I wish you luck uh, Martin I really do I wish you luck with it and uh, I hope it goes well for you and the last guy I'd like to mention is obviously my very dear friend best friend over in Canada Robert Summerlin he started up a channel recently um, called Wood Woodsley Summercraft and uh, he's just kicking off he's been turning about a year more than me but um, he did his intro video of how he, he got into the into wood turning and uh, he's just he's just put the first part of a two-part video up on um, a hollow form that he's turning that has some uh, blue resin put in it. Head on over to Woodsley Summercraft look at his channel uh, like the videos because they are fantastic considering he's, he's never done it before um, like myself and uh, and subscribe thank you very much for sticking with me through this project i really hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't done already please subscribe um, and hit the like button and give one of these a go they are fun uh, any questions you have please leave it in the comments below and i'll, I'll get back to you and i'll help you uh, the best i can until next time Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.